down. If he even hesitates with that command, you're gonna do that with your foot. I barely had to put any pressure on the, the leash. He's had a long day and sometimes when you do a lot of training in a day, they're not as quick to doing the commands because they start to lose patience and focus good. So that's worst case scenario. If he doesn't just drop into that down immediately, you just reinforce it. Don't wait for him to think about it. If you see that he's not immediately gonna go down, just give it like two or three seconds and help him go there. All he knows is he heard it once and he ended up going there. It's, you never have to do anything severe and most of the time he just sees your left foot go up and he'll just drop. The more you do that, the more you'll get the down as soon as he, as soon as he hears that word and you won't even have to do anything with your left foot. Stay is built into down. So he's waiting for you to come back to him and release him in a certain way. You don't have to say stay at all. He doesn't know what stay means. We've never used it. And as you can see, you don't need to use it. So he knows when we say down that he's waiting till we come back. And in this fenced yard, I can even drop the leash and walk away and come back and pick the leash up. He knows that he's waiting until I release him. There's only one way that he gets released out of a downstay. That's why he's waiting no matter where I go. Of course, we practice this every day. He's waiting till I come back next to him to release him out of that downstay. If he gets up before you, re you released him, you say no. Like if he's in front of you, you say no. Just go like that, step on the leash, he'll go back down. Continue your exercise. Uh, if he's next to you, you say no. And you do that left foot thing. Save your back, you don't have to bend over point, snap your fingers, make funny noises, none of that. All that would just ensure that your training is not as solid. So less noises, no noises hopefully. Uh, less commands, less words. Makes it way easier for him to have a higher level of training. So he's done really well. Before I release him, I'm gonna, re gonna reward him good, just like I would on the mat exercise, which of course you're gonna get a video of the mat exercise as well. In fact, practicing on the mat in my living room is exactly why it's so good out here and in public with the downstays now, because he learned on that mat. And everything that he learns on the mat carries over to real life. So he's waiting for me to come back next to him. The only way he ever gets out of a downstay is when his owner comes back to get him. You stand next, he's on your left, you stand next to him, pat your leg and say, okay. And then he knows he's released, always sit. Unless you're gonna walk with him right away, um, have him sit first. So you release him out of a down, have him sit. And he's actually still on the clock when you allow him to get up, have him sit, you release him out of the down from a calm sit stay. That way he doesn't learn that you're about to release him and he pops up and runs off. So see how I can, if I have him do a sit stay, um, then I can release him in a calm way. Go. And he keeps, every time you practice a down stay like that, keeps a little bit more calmness every time if you release him out of a sit stay, calm sit stay. Come on buddy.